I'm originally from North Dakota. Started playing ice hockey at age four, all the way to age 11. Um, transitioned to, into football at age 12 in Texas. I enjoyed playing ice hockey. It with the hitting, the skating around was pretty fun, and the fights inside of hockey. Um, transitioning into football, just a big change versus on ice on the field. Just enjoyed it a lot. During fifth grade, playing football in Texas, it was very intense, hot. Um, it was the first time I ever did an up down, thought I was gonna die. Um, transitioning into middle school, Texas football it was pretty intense. The varsity was a wake up call of what Texas football really is. That's where I really learned why I'm playing football. The kids in on varsity while I was in sixth grade was really tough versing. The boys were way too big. Probably shouldn't have been versing them. Got hurt a couple of times, but I didn't back down. It's really fun. Sixth grade was tough. I bounced between JV and varsity. I got moved up to the seventh grade season. Um, we ended up having snow during a championship game. It was really fun. Eighth grade was an adjustment. Moved to Florida. Um, my school at Turner Bartels didn't offer tackle football. They have flag football. I ended up playing for a private league called North Tampa Pride. Had a lot of fun over there. Um, currently, all the Wharton boys that are was a part of my team during North Tampa Pride. It was an open league. I was playing against kids who were already 18 years old. The practices were extremely intense, doing one-on-ones against an 18-year-old, and I'm an eighth grader. Um, it was very fun, worth it. Transitioning into freshman year at Wiregrass Ranch. Started on JV. I played nose tackle, only on one side of the ball. Defense, I loved hitting. It was really fun going through both A-gaps against the center and being able to sack the QB. Um, enjoyed it a lot. Halfway through the season, I moved up to varsity. Um, I played D-tackle and D-N on varsity. Prior to sophomore year, moved back to Texas. Started on JV for a couple games, moved up to varsity. Obviously, I'm a 10th grader. I started out on JV for like a couple games, and then I had a crazy injury and ended up breaking my hand uh, when I went to, when I went against a couple of the Division One offensive linemen. Smashed my hand between two of their helmets. Um, but as soon as I got my cast off, I was doing really good, and it was like third game inside the season. And then got moved up to varsity, and then played out the rest of the season up on varsity during 10th grade. A huge game at Frisco High School that I always remember. It's a playoff game versus Alito High School, all Alabama recruits, and that I was a part of an assisted tackle for loss. I was nose tackle, and then there was a D tackle. It was a game I'll remember forever. You know, Jackson this year compared to last year, to me, totally different player. You know, last year he was the type of player, he was doing a lot of catching. He wasn't really firing off the ball like I would have liked as an O-line coach. And um, this year, when he showed up during the summertime for training, I actually did a double take, you know, I was like, man, who is this kid? And um, I can't say enough about him. When you talk about work ethic, nobody works harder than Jackson Filipenko. You know, he's the first one in the weight room, the last one to leave. He's a team captain. You know, he's a guy that gets everybody fired up. When he speaks, everybody listens, and he backs it up on the field. You know, one-on-ones, you know, not too many people are faring, well too, well, faring too well against Jackson Filipenko. Um, so that, that kid has a bright future. He's going to have a big senior year. He's just getting started. And every week I see him just get a little bit better. You know, he's always on the details. Like if he, if he doesn't do something right, he wants to fix it during post-practice. Or he's thinking about it. You know, how can, I, how can I improve? So he's the type of player anybody would want on their team. Rolling into junior year at Sun Lake High School, I learned a lot playing my previous years at Frisco High School in Texas. Big change from big football state to another football state. Had a lot of fun. Um, became a team captain right away. Um, I wanted to make my mark playing junior year and who I really wanted to become playing football. And I love playing offense, being able to protect my QB and getting pancakes on pass plays or run blocking plays really opened my eye to whether I loved offense more or defense more. Personally, I think offense is better. There's a lot more stuff you're able to do. Favorite play during junior season um, was an onside kick that Daniel Lester kicked. He ended up scooping and scoring. We created a wall on the outside, and this is just the best play overall. I'll remember it forever. I fully expect Jackson to have a big senior year. You know, he's put in the work this offseason. You know, he's been in the weight room. He's been on the field. 
He's been a leader amongst his peers at the O-line group. You know, and he's the type of player that when he steps up and performs, everybody's going to follow. So we're really right. I have a saying with the O-line group, we will win or lose on your shoulders. And that starts with Jackson Filipenko. My senior season's here now. It's time for me to make my mark. It's my last go around. I always dreamed playing college football. I want to be able to tell my kids that I play college football someday or even at a higher level. Um, I'm so excited to see what I can do senior season. It's been a long journey throughout senior year. Um, my parents have sacrificed a lot. I wouldn't be here where I am and no, nothing without my offers, without my coaches. Um, I appreciate them so much. I couldn't have done it without them and it means a lot. With all the experiences I've had, my proudest moment was receiving my first football offer. I was laying on the couch watching TV with my sister and brother phone rang. I picked up and a coach called me. I thought it was a prank call. He said no it wasn't and then we just had a long conversation and ended up being offered. And when you come to the classroom Jackson's on, on top of things. He's not a kid I'm worried about. You know when it comes to progress reports he's not gonna pop up on my report. You know he's, he's on top of the books. That goes without saying. He's a big he's big in the community. He's a community kid. He likes being out in the community. I remember last year, um, he's a man of faith. Last year at our sports banquet, he was the one that say the prayer and bless the food, and he's, he's just that type of kid. He's a leader. He's a born leader, not afraid to step up and just put himself out there, whether it's in the community, on this, in this, in this, on this team, or in the classroom. So those intangibles off the field when it comes to Jackson Filipenko, he's a special kid.